All right. So <clears throat> we're gonna attempt to paint this godforsaken engine. I sandblasted it, but I couldn't film it because there's sand going everywhere. It's a pain in the ass, and I didn't feel like scratching my lens. So I sandblasted it some. Couldn't get all of it. I've tried scraping this. I've used paint thinner, acetone, wire wheel, and you know, basically it's getting painted something. And then as it flakes off, we'll just keep adding paint back to it. And I didn't even buy a real, I just bought some Rust-Oleum. This is good up to 200 degrees, which ideally this engine's gonna run at like 120, what, 150, whatever it is. Uh, so we're just gonna pretend like that's all right. We're just gonna paint, paint it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna simply paint it because I don't, I don't care anymore. I'm over it. There's still sand on it, which I've been trying to get. Basically, we're gonna we're gonna do the best that we can here, all right? Because we already did it right the first time, which was wrong because it didn't work. So now we're gonna do it wrong the second time, and maybe it'll work. So, you know, I'm probably just gonna paint it solid black, and I might go back and paint this a different color later. I don't know. It's possible. Um, gonna see what happens and I'm not a professional painter so as you judge me for the way I'm painting this just go ahead and know that I don't care because it's just it is what it is ladies and gentlemen it's just it is what it is I'm trying to do a little light coat here get some coverage on it. And come back and give it a second coat a little bit later, 15 minutes or so. We're gonna pretend like we know what we're doing. We know that we don't. And we know it's not gonna last more than five minutes because the other coat didn't, so why would this one? So Trying to be optimistic here. Right. Gonna have that can do attitude. be glad that I'm even doing this at all because let me tell you I didn't want to I didn't want to repaint this at all because it had already had offended me deeply the first go around so lots of runs in it as possible. And the paint's peeling in the areas it won't. You can blow it off with the air hose, but you can't scrape it off, which is awesome. So. But I 
did wipe it down with acetone. Everything like that. Trying to get something on it to keep it from rusting, basically. Like one guy said, it's going to be coated in oil anyway, five minutes after it's in. So it doesn't. You know, we're pretending that we're painting this for a government vehicle, so it's going to be good enough for government work, basically. Over here so that the other side is getting painted as well crudely. Very crudely, I might add. Like I say, get as many runs in it as you possibly can. Spark plug holes, you can't, it's hard to get the paint that was still stuck to them out because you don't want to pull the spark plugs and drop a bunch of crap down into the cylinder. Given that we probably already got sand in the cylinder from, from painting it, I mean from sandblasting it. So which I know I got a little bit down the intake, but I used the shop vac to vacuum that out. And I'll probably flush everything before, I, before you just dry crank it, you know. I'm probably going to paint it a different color. Maybe. Probably not. But I'll pretend that I will. And then, uh, trying to impress nobody we just want the thing painted that's all not trying to impress because if they're not impressed by that sick ass two-wheel drive wheelie truck then they can't be impressed and they're not your friend and you don't want nothing to do with them I mean, this is science you don't need that kind of negativity in your life 
You got somebody in your life that doesn't think a Willie's truck is the sickest thing ever? Then uh, go ahead and remove them from your life because you ain't got time for that. Got no time for that kind of negative attitude. There's too many willies out there to be had. Trying to make sure I got all the all the spots covered. That way when it starts peeling, it can do it evenly. Do a little touch-up job on it, but and I had to turn the fan off so it's hotter than seven hells in here. But regardless, yeah. I mean, it looks better than it did, you know. It's black now. Like I said, I got a little bit. I had all these parts filled when I sandblasted it, but the sand goes everywhere. And I was real careful not to just run it along the seam of the whole pan and stuff like that. Just kind of grazed over it, trying to knock as much of the paint off as I could. Um, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll let that dry, which this, this stuff takes, let's see. Dries the touch in two to four hours. Fully dry in 24. So, I like Rust-Oleum. Everything I've ever painted with Rust-Oleum stayed painted. So I'm hoping maybe this will stay painted. I probably should paint that section that I just massively missed right there because it would probably be a lot cooler if I did. There you go. Trying to get back in there where the bell housing goes. There you go. I, mean, I mean, that looks terrible, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it does. But that's okay. Like I say, we're not trying to, uh, we're not trying to impress nobody. Like I say, if that rig right there doesn't get them, you can't have them. They're not for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, got that crudely painted. I told you it was going to be crude. I promised you that it would be. I told you. I tried to tell you. You probably didn't believe me. You're like, oh, no, Ray Clay Traveler, he's going to, Ray Clay Traveler's going to do it right. Yeah, you're right. I did it wrong, so... But it's nice that, you know, all your hair's gone when you're 27. It's been a hard road to hoe, that's what I'm saying. Makes you makes your hair fall out. Don't grow old, people. That's not good. Uh, but, yeah, let that dry. We'll assess it and then maybe do a little spritz up, a little light-duty second coat. And, uh... And then we'll spike it in this unit over here behind me. Spike it in there hard. It's going to know that that engine was put in it. Okay, we're going to put it in there hard, and it's going to know. It's like, damn, regular Traveler slammed that F head engine. Just slammed it in that unit. Yeah, so. And then, uh, then we, can, we can tootle about. Yeah, stuff anymore. But yeah. And everybody seems casual side note here. People seem to dig the little short video, little montage clips I did. Even though one video I put on to get three thousand views and the other one I put on, same length video, posted at the same places, gets like two hundred and forty views, which doesn't, you know, I YouTube, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, if you like it, 
just, just do me a solid, all right? And go ahead and subscribe. Do it, do it now, subscribe. If you're watching me again and you look down and you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's more important than you think. I didn't know how important subscribing was until I had a YouTube channel. I used to watch YouTube channels all the time, never subscribed. I was like, whatever, it doesn't make any difference. I didn't realize it did. It does make a difference. The more people subscribe, the more YouTube will push my videos, the more views I'll get, the more good news I can share of the sick Willie's truck and potentially monetize the channel down the road, which means I'll be able to bring more content, higher quality, better cameras, better microphones, and sicker Jeeps. So go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Do me, yourself, future Jeep people a solid. Just simply do it. Don't question it. Just, just do it. Just simply do it. Because that subscribe button, it's not going to smash itself just like that F head is not going to paint itself or place itself in there. It's just not going to. So don't make, don't make me bring it up again. All right. We're at like 257, I think, on subscribers, so we're doing pretty good. We got a little bit of time. We need under 250 more to reach 1,000. That's it, that's it, that's all. If everybody that I know that's already subscribed can just literally get one more person to subscribe. If half the people that are subscribed, just one more person, just one more, and then we're done. And you don't have to hear me complaining about not being at 1,000 subscribers. Do your part. You'll get more sick content. But yeah, so it's nice to have the engine one color again. It'll be even sicker when it's in the truck. So yeah. And of course, I will film all that, all of the, uh, the fun and glory of putting that engine in this truck, uh, which it shouldn't really be too bad in order to go right in there. And then I need to do another video on Jubal because I really need to change the clutch in Jubal because the throwout bearing is screaming like a banshee and it offends me deeply. So need to get it in here and pull the clutch out of it, put a new clutch. God knows how old the clutch is in Jubal. Put a new clutch, new throwout bearing, everything like that. Need to do a little loose alignment on it because it gets a little bit of a shudder. Uh, driving it down the road because the wonderful people that I had rebuild my axles instead of just marking the tie rods and everything and putting it back the way they found it they just put it back however the hell they wanted and uh, so that's nice really like that so I need to get that dialed in I, I think it's still towed out just a touch too much because it's got a little bit of a little bit of a shake to it but get that done get the uh, get the clutch changed in it and I might break down here before long and, and get another carburetor for it because the one that's on it, uh, it runs fine, like takes throttle fine and everything, but it's getting, it's, it, it's getting close time to a rebuild, I think, or to just get another carburetor for it. One that's already rebuilt, clean and spotless and put it on there. Jubal deserves it. Jubal, Jubal deserves it. I haven't spent a lot of money on Jubal in a while, so he deserves it. He's never done me wrong. So, but yeah, until next time, until the next video, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Once again, smash it. And then if you like these kind of videos, there'll be a video up here and one over here. So if you like that crap, go ahead and hit one of them, watch more. I've got like 60 something videos now, CJ5s, Willie's trucks, cutting trucks in half, all kinds of random crap, Jeep stuff, related stuff. So go ahead and watch all that crap. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and uh, yeah, until next time. Red Clay Traveler, signing out. Have a pleasant tomorrow, and don't forget, Willie's for life, conquer it all.